If I went to Sturgis, South Dakota on this cold Sunday morning, I'd find a town of 6,000 people. Mm. But uh, I'm talking to John Drees, and I'm talking to Don Jones, mm -hmm. and they know that something happens in Sturgis in the summer that changes all of that. How many folks would I find if I went to Sturgis at a particular time in the summer, John? Two weeks in August, you'd find about 600,000. 600,000 people? Don, <laughs> what are 600,000 people doing in a town like Sturgis? It's the world's largest motorcycle rally, and it has it draws everybody from all over the United States and even the world to come to this one event. It is enormous, more than you could ever believe, just fathoms of motorcycle people that are from all walks of life come there. And it drew both of you guys up mm -hmm. to Sturgis. John, you've been up there the last two years. Don, you went mm -hmm. this year. Uh, you rode your bikes to Sturgis, <laughs> is that right, John? Yes, sir. How far is that? It's about 1,200 miles. About 1,200 miles from Edmond, Oklahoma. Uh, what would motivate a person to get on a, bike, a, mm. a motorcycle and uh, ride it that far, Don? Mm. Well, and these people are from all walks of life, and uh, there, it's sad, but it is such a lost situation uh, for the week that I was there. I was there about eight days, I guess. But uh, it is so amazing to see the people uh, who have such plenty in life and the life they've chosen is not a godly one. And so to go up there and try to minister the gospel to these people is the whole motivation behind it. And uh, to drive that far and to see the things and be in that environment and just try to witness and, and proclaim the gospel. So you guys were a part of a, a ministry uh, reaching out uh, evangelism right here in North America. Uh, John, you're part of a group uh, trained and recognized by our North American Mission Board, a chaplaincy crew. Uh, what, what, are, what, what have you been doing in Sturgis the last couple of summers? Our primary focus in Sturgis is to minister to the vendors. First, because they're kind of like carnival workers. They have a headquarters, but they spend the spring and summer going from rally to rally and don't have a church home. So we try to minister to their spiritual needs. Plus, in the biker community, if the vendors accept you, everybody else figures you're okay too. So that's really an end to uh, everybody you're trying to touch. Don, mm -hmm. uh, you uh, are involved with a group out of Edmonds First Baptist Church uh, that's a larger organization called uh, Faith Writers. Yes, sir. Uh, what were Faith Writers doing in uh, Sturgis this summer? Okay, our target was the people there. What we have uh, is for the last five years, Wayne, Faith Writers has set up a tent there and there's uh, two people, the one who's a, a callers on the outside of the tent the people inside the tent, what we do is we give our three-minute testimony. And the way we try to get the people in to listen to that is we give away a brand new, like this year, it was a 2011 Harley Davidson Wide Glide, brand spanking new. And for th if they listen to our three-minute testimony, that's how they get an opportunity to win that bike. And so that's how we uh, spread the gospel of Christ to these people is, is the motorcycle. What an awesome time of, uh, of outreach and a chance to touch the lives of people. Mm -hmm. uh, John, you and I were talking and you shared with me uh, a particular memory you have of uh, one family of vendors. Uh, tell me about that. This one family, and again, I, I get to interact with these people five to ten minutes, two or three times a day, no more than that, over the course of a week and a half period. This one family happens to be devout Hindus. And August was the rally. Last month, December of 2010, I came home and there was a large envelope. That I didn't recognize the return address. I opened it. It was from one of these vendors. It's a devout Hindu family. This lady's husband had passed away in November. She sent me a, the program from the memorial service and she sent me a scarf. This Hindu lady sent me a scarf that said, Holy Bible, Jesus loves you. And that tells me that, that God's allowing me to make a difference because the hundreds of gods that these Hindus recognize, she knows that my God is real too. And that, that just touched my heart incredibly that I, I know I'm making a difference in Sturgis, at least with this one family. We don't always know exactly what's happening when we share the good news about Jesus. But I've discovered that however little we see or however much we see, God's doing more than we see. 
Amen. Uh, Don, what's your strongest mm. memory of being under that tent and, uh, and meeting people? Mm. I was one of the people, Wayne, on the outside of the tent who got the people into the tent. I uh, was out in the crowd there, and I had this one gentleman, uh, probably 19 to 21 year old Hispanic male, and I was talking to him about what we're doing, you know, giving our three minute testimony and things like that. Was well, dad comes up and grabs him by the arm and says, Son, let's go. You're going to hell with me. And so uh, he looks at me and he said, is there more that I can hear? I said, oh yeah, there's a lot more. So he pulled his arm away. His dad reached again and grabbed his arm and said, son, I told you, you're going to hell with me. Let's go. And it's just, uh, it's just that kind of a environment that you're in up there. And there are people who do want to hear it, but there's a lot of opposition. But that just went all the way to my soul. This, uh, we have people, there are different groups of motorcycle gangs. Uh, everybody knows about the Banditos or something like that, or Hell's Angels, which we uh, go in there little booths, uh, but also there's another group called the One Percenters. One Percenters can belong to any group, but they are the worst of the worst from anything goes with the One Percenters. All three of these groups came to our tent and registered, and it's just the way we can reach in their world and give the gospel to them. So, How many people mm -hmm. do you know of who prayed to receive Christ at Sturgis because mm -hmm. of this ministry? Yeah, you know, Wayne, our records show that we had over 7,300 Gospel presentations given. We had 1,147 people make professions of faith this past August. John and Don, mm. thank you mm. for being available to Amen. God and letting Him use you in a really unusual ministry, touching people that sometimes are untouched. Mm. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you. Thank you. We do it together.